and today we're looking at the snowball ice. And this is what we get in the box. We get a USB cable, which on one side is USB, and in the other side is USB type B, which would be the same as a printer cable. We also get the manual, the tripod, which is a plus, and the most importantly, we get the microphone. This microphone is very similar to the regular Snowball. They're both USB, and they both pick up cardioid. The only difference with the Snowball, that it could also pick up patterns omnidirectional. If you're only gonna do voiceovers, or vocals, or one instrument, and you want to save that extra $20, then the ICE is the way to go. So we do get standard threading to be able to connect a different mic stand or just to connect the one that comes with it. So having the tripod, that's going to help you on the budget. This microphone is a condenser microphone with only one condenser capsule. The regular Snowball has two condenser capsules and the Yeti has three. And they are like small microphones that are going to pick up pattern from different places. So that's why the ICE only having one could only pick up sound from in front of the mic. Looking at the back of the microphone, we have the USB type B port. And the good thing is, if you ever need to replace this cable, you can always use what's commonly known as a printer cable. And in front of the mic, we have the LED indicator, which is going to let you know when your microphone is on. The microphone stands on a ball that's going to let you rotate it forward or backward. It does not go side to side. The microphone itself does feel very sturdy. Both the Snowball Ice and the regular Snowball have a recording resolution of 44.1 kilohertz at 16 bit compared to the Yeti at 48 kilohertz at 16 bit. At that resolution, we do get great sound and we do get the branding all around the microphone head. This microphone is a plug and play. That means that you won't need any drivers to get it going. The only thing you need to do is just plug it into your computer or laptop and you're ready to go. Now we're ready to take this bad boy for a test drive. If you want to avoid any P sounds, pops, or any wind sound that might be created with your mouth, it's good that you add a pop filter because if you don't, you might sound like this. Peter Pan ate some popcorn with peppers, potato. The microphone does really well without the pop filter. But if you want to be more secure, adding the pop filter is the way to go. Peter Pan ate some popcorn, peppers, potatoes. Overall, this is a great USB microphone. You get great quality sound for the price. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Follow us on social media. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.